Hi, welcome to my channel EasyML. This channel is a crash course for machine learning. My name is Sudarshan and I will be your instructor throughout this course. In this video, I will be highlighting the course structure, the course content and my intended target audience. But before, before delving into all that, let us take a quick look at what machine learning is. Well, by definition, machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence where a system is trained to progressively learn from data. I guess this definition may seem a little cryptic, but by the end of this course, you will be both familiar and comfortable with the concepts and application of machine learning. Now, let us break down this definition a little further. When we say progressively learn from data, it essentially means recognizing the underlying patterns in the data. Now, what is the use of recognizing underlying patterns in the data? There are broadly two uses. One is to derive data-driven decisions and the other one is to make predictions. Now, let me tell you about a few projects that I have worked on in the past that will shed more light on both data-driven decisions and predictions. Data-driven decisions. I worked on a project once where we had customers' transaction data. I grouped these customers based on similar transaction behavior. These groupings were in turn presented to the client and the client used these groupings to perform targeted marketing campaigns. This is an example of literally how a business decision was derived from data. Next, prediction. When it comes to prediction, there are various types of prediction that we might have generally heard of such as sales prediction, cost prediction or even weather for that matter of fact. One interesting project that I worked on was to predict the car park occupancy for a commercial complex. They wanted to know, given a particular day and time of day, how much was the expected car park occupancy so that they could optimize the car park allocation accordingly. As I said before, I'll be briefly highlighting the structure and the nature of this course. I will try and keep the technical jargon to a minimum and use more of an intuitive approach to explain all the machine learning concepts. This course is designed to empower business users and especially those who are new to analytics. Now, I myself am a person who is not technical. I was not at all familiar with coding. So I have compiled this course accordingly. Now, coming to the course structure, the diagram in the middle is called the machine learning tree or the ML tree. This tree highlights the overall course structure and topics. So let us take a brief look at every node in this tree. To perform any analysis, the first thing we need is data. It all starts there. So data can exist in various forms. There is structured data and unstructured data. So structured data is when a data has a well thought out structure as the name suggests rows, columns, etc. Whereas on the other hand, like an example of unstructured data would be social media data because it is more free flowing. Um, what we post online such as photos, text and uh, you know, videos, etc. All of that is unstructured data. Now, having understood the various forms of data, it is first important to identify what type of data we are going to be dealing with. In this course, we will focus on structured data only. Maybe subsequently we may explore other forms of data, but as of now, we will only be focusing on structured data. Now, after we receive data, what is the next step? The next step in the tree diagram is exploring data. This exploration is predominantly driven by the application of various statistical concepts. This step is important as it helps the analyst to take certain preemptive measures such as dealing with missing values, dealing with outliers, etc. before deploying any other advanced machine learning algorithm. Now, after, we, after data exploration is done, now the data is ready for machine learning. Now, there are two types of machine learning or two branches within machine learning. One is supervised learning and the other one is unsupervised learning. Within supervised learning, there are two further sub-branches. One is regression models and the other being classification models. Bear with me, I, I shall talk about all these concepts in greater detail. Within unsupervised learning, there are again two branches. 
One is called cluster analysis and the other one is dimension reduction. Every node in this ML tree diagram will be a chapter of its own and will be explained in greater detail. In the next video, I will be highlighting a sample data and a few machine learning use cases that we will be exploring further throughout this course. Thank you and stay tuned.